Tragedy struck here in May when 28-year-old Gary Chris Gerald died suddenly while coaching a Little League team here at Stumbo Park in Allen. Now some believe that Gerald's passing might have been prevented with the appropriate tool on site. Today, the Floyd County Fiscal Court took a first step in obtaining that tool. We had a, a young man that had, it was a tragic, uh, we had a loss of life at our, one of our parks. He was a 28 year old and uh, he was a coach and it, it affected our community quite uh, badly. And, and so some of the people had suggested to me, is there a way, because we had doctors there and had nurses and so forth, but something is my understanding that if they had some type of uh, a defibrillator that could have maybe shocked the heart back that uh, we might have been able to save him. During today's regularly scheduled meeting, the court passed a resolution seeking grant money from the Department of Homeland Security for the purchase of a defibrillator to be kept at the park. During the summer, a lot of times the ball fields, you know, the activities, you're dealing with heat, exhaustion, uh, and also due to the response time of some ambulances and stuff. If we've got one on site, it could possibly mean saving of a person's life. So, you know, we can't put a price on a person's life, and it would be nice to have one at every ball field. They're not that expensive, really. Uh, some of the fire departments in the county, I know we have one at David, so uh, some do have and some don't, but this is something we'd really need to try to help push and see if everybody does have one. Now there is no guarantee that the fiscal court will be granted those funds from Homeland Security. However, Judge Executive Ben Hale says that they have had positive relations with Homeland Security in the past and he's hopeful for a good outcome. Reporting from Floyd County for EKB News, I'm Jackson Latta.